Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Right, click that like button. Leave me a comment below. Did I tell y'all to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad? Okay, period. Um, <laughs> follow me on Instagram on the Miss Serenity Smith Babies. You can also follow me under Miss Serenity Smith on Facebook. And don't forget to get your merch. If you have not checked out my store, my merch store, new items are coming soon. So just keep checking every video. But today I have my Joy Araya. And she is the Shelby sculpt, sculpted by Jennifer. Se oh, sculpted by Jennifer <laughs> Costello. She is sculpted by Jennifer Costello, painted by me, rooted by me. Um, she is not fully rooted, but she's getting there. And for those that are new to the doll world, when we say rooted, we're not talking about rituals or anything like that. We're talking about how we install the hair. And we do that with a needle. Everybody use different size needles, types of needles, but usually very, very thin needle. One to two strands at a time in most cases, unless you got a pluggy wuggy, <laughs> baby. But otherwise, that's how we pretty much do it. Either way it go, that's what it means. All right, guys. Um, FBS is full body silicone. Um, OOAK is one of a kind. Usually that is meaning an oak that is clay. Um, we like to refer to our babies as oaks, but really they're really not. They kind of might be one of a kind because they're painted like different than the most, but a lot of our sculpts have, there are multiple of them, but we ain't getting into all that. A lot of people, a lot of people, y'all know, here I go, girls. Y'all know, y'all know what time it is. Don't get stuck on a bubble call. A lot of people, meaning like three or four, <laughs> People have asked me recently, like, I want to get into buying silicone, but I just don't know where to start. Well, here's the video for your girlfriend. Here's the video for you. Oh, period. Okay, so shopping for a silicone is not that much different than shopping for a reborn. However, it is a little bit more intense because it's a lot more money in most cases, depending on what type of reborns you're you're accustomed to buying. If you're buying big time high reborns that's three, four, six thousand dollars, then you're not out of the water with the prices of silicone because in most cases you're gonna find them around that price, except with an exception of a few um silicone artists that charge, you know, almost twenty thousand for theirs, and that is different. And those those silicone um sculptor artists that charge those amounts is because they have built their brand to be able to ask that price okay um but here's the thing when you're shopping for silicone there are some different components so i'm gonna start with what's different than shopping for reborns with reborns you're pretty much looking at the look you know it's all about the look the sculpt with the reborns, the, I mean silicone, you're looking at look movement because a full body silicone is not jointed in the way that a, silic a reborn is. So yeah, they may have armatures and all that, but armatures can only do so much. And you gotta keep in mind, what if that armature breaks or whatever, what am I left with? So I like to see a sculpt in its original state with and without armatures just me personally um i know that a lot of sculptors will put armatures in their babies especially when they know like the sculpting and when it got poured it didn't turn out the limbs didn't go in the direction exactly like they wanted so the armatures help kind of you know what i mean correct that um so i don't want to get too technical so let's start over four minutes in here i go Picture it, Sicily, 1922. I'm new to shopping for silicone. I wanna buy me a silicone baby. I want one that's soft. I want one that's floppy. I wanna be able to lay the baby on his tummy. I wanna be able to do poses. I wanna do the froggy position. I want to be able to put the baby in a lot of clothes. So, okay, if you're one of those people, 
You definitely want to see the baby without any clothes on when you're buying it. You want to see that scope without any clothes on. You want to know if that baby leg is fixed in a position that you're going to have to put in, you know, mostly like dresses and if sleepers are going to fit kind of funny because, you know, the legs are really scrunched, scrunched, scrunched. Um, babies that's in a froggy position naturally like the legs are like her legs are I kind of frog them a little bit more than what they are but they are in a froggy position see their legs don't completely straighten out um these type babies putting them in a sleeper they do all right they do pretty good laying on their tummy because you know they're already kind of in the froggy position um but there's going to be like certain positions that's not going to work for them and you don't want to when baby's legs are bent like this you don't want to have to be pulling on it a lot because the back part right there you can cause a tear so you don't want to do that if you want to do a lot of posing you want your babies to be in a more relaxed position where the legs are not as fixed in a froggy position so that you can be able to bend them up if you want to but also straighten them out um, so you want to ask if, you, if they don't show pictures or videos of the movement of this silicone that you're interested in, you want to ask that. You want to ask, is the legs fixed in that position or does the leg straighten out? Can I see it with it straighten out? Because people lie, okay? Period. So the other thing is, big question, we shouldn't be having to ask this in, in, in 1922. I'm sorry, we're in 2024 now. We shouldn't be having to ask this question. Is the mouth already open or does it need to be open? That is important because if you send your if you're buying a blank kit and you're sending it to an artist that don't know how to really open the mouth, you got a problem. So you want to ask that. They may offer that for additional $25 to $50 is normally what most people charge to open the mouth for you. If I were you, I would have the mouth open. Um, there are some artists out here that are fancy schmancy. They can open the mouth, throw tongues up in there, gums up in there. They can do the works. I'm not one of them, but hey, I do like those ones that are super bad like that with their crafting. Okay? I'm just a painter. So, that's another thing you want to, you know, be mindful of. The other thing, once you know if the mouth is open, can it take a full-size pacifier? Or do it have to take a modified pacifier? Me... Uh, in 1922, I would have been okay with that, but since we're fast forwarding to 2024, I want to be able to take a full pacifier because I don't want to be clipping a nipple because that's the whole point of me wanting a full body. Okay, got it, good. Now, that's a question you have to ask because sometimes these babies' mouth is open, but you can't stick nothing but the tip of your fingernail in there, and that's it. Um, all right, sounds like a whole lot already, right? But it really ain't. Um, the other thing is, you want to pose your baby? You want to know. Can this baby head turn from side to side? Can it turn from side to side? Or is it stuck in a fixed position? Because when you get ready to lay this baby down and put it in um, the on, on, on her tummy for tummy time, guess what? She's going to be smothering and she can't breathe. And... You going to jail because you don't you don't suffocate your baby. Never mind. Okay, but you you get what I'm saying. Don't get stuck on the bubble gum. Y'all know I ain't got that sense. But that's another thing. Then you might want to ask, um, if this matter to you, this don't really matter to me a whole lot as long as it look realistic. Rather, the uh, toes are separated or together. I don't really care about that because I don't really put my babies on shoes like that. Um, now, when it comes to the hands, I don't like open hands where the fingers are actually connected because that looks weird to me for the most part. It's okay if like one or two fingers are connected and then they're kind of spaced, but I don't want it to look like a web hand, if that makes sense. If it looked realistic, fine. If not, yeah, I'll pass. Um, so it's all about preference when you're shopping, um, but also, okay, let's say, you find this artist and you really, you see this baby and you're like, oh my gosh, I love this baby. I love the painting on this baby. So you find out who is the artist, who is the sculptor. Okay, so now you want to follow both the sculptor and the artist because if you miss out on that baby, you know you like that sculpting style. So you want to see what else they, they have. 
And if you like the artist's paint work, you want to continue to follow their painting and see you're looking for two things when you're following the painter. You're looking to see if it's a consistency or if it's a hit and miss. Like, mm, sometimes I like their work, sometimes I hate it. Um, or if it's like one of those things like, oh my gosh, you know, she have different range. She can paint light, dark, medium, black, white, Chinese, Japanese, Puerto Rican, you know, who I did is my body gotta be yay 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 yay. You want to be able to be like, you might be like, oh, okay, so I can basically go to her and ask for anything. You want to know if they take customs. If they don't take customs, then you got to follow their work. Um, Sometimes you might want to follow, like their collectors might post and tag them and be like, hey, you know, thank you for the baby. You want to follow them because they may have the baby for two weeks and be like, okay, I'm over it. I want to sell it. And you may be able to get it for like, a, you know, $500,000 off, depending on how desperate they is to get it sold. Um, so you want to follow, but one of the main reasons why you want to follow too is because you want to make sure that this is not one of these scam people that have stolen somebody's picture and you want to see if they have comments from regular collectors that you've seen around commenting saying, Hey, you know, thank you. Yeah. I love your work. You know, some back and forth communication, not just somebody that's done stole pictures like let me tell you the latest scam. Oh my gosh, you guys be careful with this one. Because I was like, look at I was trying to say, who died in the community? They were saying, my mother died two years ago and I'm trying to sell off her collection. Um, inbox me, I'm letting them go really cheap. And I'm like, oh my gosh, who died in the community? It's a scam. It's a scam. Very sickening scam. So people thinking, oh my gosh, it's somebody that don't really know what they got, what value they have in these dolls. So that's why they're really cheap and you run and try to go buy it and it's a whole scammer. So yeah, you want to be careful with that. Um, you want to ask uh, what the doll is poured in. Um, you know, you definitely want to go with a platinum blend, silicone, a pl platinum um, never go with 10. 10 will fall apart on you over the over time. Um, you want to know where you're shipping from, um, where they're shipping from type situation. Um, let me see what else you want to know. If you're wanting to transition over to fu full body silicones, and I'm I'm speaking on full body silicones, we could talk about cuddles and partials anytime later but right now I'm concentrating on full body you want to know that the average full body silicone baby is going to range you anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars in today's market and I say that loosely because I know someone gonna get stuck on the bubble gum and say I I know somebody that's selling them for 35, 36, 38. And I am not going to sit here and tell you that you will not get a nice doll painted for 35, 36, 38, 100 dollars That is not what I'm here to tell you. All I am telling you is that is the average price, the five to eight. And I will tell you though, sometime people are charging less because two things either they don't know what their worth is or they do know what their worth is and they're charging accordingly so the biggest mistake you can make is going for the cheapest and letting that lead you in your decision to buy if you're buying just strictly off because oh this is cheaper and then you get it and you're expecting this twenty thousand dollar quality doll you're the problem, not the seller. That was your fault. That's all I'm gonna say. Can I, can I do it? Let me rerun that back to you. If you let price lead you and you're like, I'm gonna get this, even though you may feel like you see some things that you don't necessarily like, but you want to get it anyway because it's cheaper and right now that's what you can afford, then don't get mad if it's not what you expect in person or you feel some type of way because you led with price. 
Am I saying that sometime we can get a deal and get a really nice baby? Absolutely not. Because you can definitely get a good price. I have sold um, full bodies for $3,000. I've sold full bodies for $2,000. I've sold full bodies for $3,800. Um, recently, I've sold two thirty eight hundred, dollars And I had reasons for selling it for them. But I still feel like they were pretty nice babies. Um, so, yeah. You can definitely get a nice silicone for that price range sometime. Me and my silicone prices, I start at forty eight hundred normally, and I try not to go over six thousand. Now, if I buy a kit that costs me three thousand, <laughs> four thousand, then the price is gonna be ridiculous, and that is why I am trying to not spend as much on kits because then I have to pass that cost off to my customers. Um, but anyway, that's no here or there. I usually buy those for myself, to be honest, personally. Um, the other thing, don't expect just because a baby is a preemie or a micro preemie that it should be Char that people should charge less it takes the same amount of layers um and time to paint a preemie that it as it does for a full full body baby to be honest um it takes less paint not less of the other materials such as brushes and sponges and all that stuff but it does take less paint because of course you're covering a smaller area um but that's not going to get you nowhere far, baby. So, you know, I hear people saying, oh, my God, that baby was only 15 inches and she wanted $5,000 for it. Well, you know what? It still took her, you know, two weeks, three weeks to paint it. I mean, some people paint a baby in a whole in one one day, but that's their business. You know, they, they got a program that works for them and, you know, good for them. Uh, my brain don't work that fast. So. Um, but keep in mind also, you are not paying for this person how long it takes them. You are not paying specifically just for the materials that it takes them. That is a factor, but you're mostly paying for the end result, the skin, the skill that it took to make it. Um, and so therefore that is what you're paying for. Um, so, and I'm playing around with lights in here, guys on her because she's, I don't know why it, the lighting is just looking crazy for her right now. But, so if you see her just the like color changing, it's me moving, waving my, <laughs> my lights around like an idiot. Um, but yeah, so that is my, my thought process of how I look for, you know, babies. Even when I'm shopping for kits, if I see a kit I like, I go follow that, that sculptor and I'm like trying to see what else they're sculpting who's buying from them, who's commenting, that type stuff. I'm all up in it. Like, I'm inspect the gadget. Like, if I don't see no people that I consider to have good taste or, you know, you know, that would comment and, and, and validate that this person actually is selling to real people and this is a real seller, I don't even entertain it, to be honest. I can like it and I just be like, hmm. And I just keep an eye, keep it in my back, you know, back file. But I don't, I don't pursue it in any type of way. That's just me. I'm very overly cautious. Um, you know, I think I tend to be a little bit more cautious than some people because I don't have money like a lot of people. Um, and a lot of these women have, you know, money or they have, you know, yeah, know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do we have to go through it? You know, wealthy parents, rich husbands, all that stuff, or just even just a husband, honey. Um, and I can't be playing with my money like that. Okay. I'm one week away from being on food stamps. Okay. So we're not finna play with, play, play like that. I'd be trying to make sure I'm not, um, about to get bamboozled. Okay. So, 
if it's any other questions let me know in the comment section um once you've selected your baby I'll add you that you like and you know you want to purchase you reach out to them you get the price the price is good you want to make sure you ask them is there any rips or tears any boo-boos that I should be aware of and then there's the other thing and that's like a whole deeper conversation what is really considered to be a boo-boo versus a defect or just um a cosmetic uh or you know just some of the hoopla's of silicone um that's debatable i think a defect is not debatable debatable for me a tear or rip that's defective that's a boo-boo um and then there are some other things you know but yeah if they don't disclose that or it's you know reflected in the price then you might want to step back and then sometimes you know i don't mind buying a boo-boo baby sometime depending on what it is especially if it's a rare kid or it's not that big of a boo-boo for me um but sometime why not just instead of the five hundred dollars that you're getting off on that just save up the other five hundred and get one you know fresh from the artist you know what i mean um the other thing also when you're buying keep in mind when you buy second hand um and second hand is okay you know definitely okay and i you know I, y'all i told y'all i support second second market but just keep in mind when you buy second market um you cannot go back to the original artist and try to make them liable or fix something that you know you didn't you didn't buy directly from them so yeah so anyway that's that anyway guys i'm gonna go that's all i got